Hey guys, my name is Skylar. I'm one of two of the semester at Stone Lab students. Um, I'm currently going to be a rising senior at The Ohio State University, and I'm studying environmental science and specializing in ecosystem restoration. And this is my second month at Stone Lab. So I got here May 16th, and I'll be leaving on July 30th. So it's around two and a half months, um, close to about 10 weeks. The days are very long, but they're very, very fun. So most mornings I wake up around 7, 7.30, um, and then I have class from 8 to 5 or 8 to 4, depending on the day. So I took two classes that were both three credit hours long. I took a taxonomy and behavior of aquatic invertebrates, and then taxonomy and behavior of fish. It's very hands-on. You do a lot of field days, so you get to go out and actually use like tools that you'll probably go use like in a career setting. So you learn a lot and um, I like that it's like very hands-on and interactive and collaborative. After a long day of classes, we love to play volleyball. We like to go swimming. Um, we typically have bonfires with s'mores and um, food and snacks and stuff like that. You're constantly surrounded by people and then these people all become your friends and it's like a very family, friend-like atmosphere. Um, there's always someone to talk to, always someone wanting to study or hang out with you. So as a rising senior, I felt a lot of pressure to work a typical standard internship over the summer and wasn't entirely what I wanted to do. I really wanted to get hands-on experience in the science field and kind of grow more connections with like OSU faculty members. And so this kind of was like the perfect opportunity to do both of those things. So again, I had a lot of field days where I got to use environmental tools, but then I also got to know my professors and then know a lot of other fellow uh, environmental science seniors. So I feel a lot more comfortable going into my senior year now, um, knowing a lot more of the faculty members and my fellow students. I am an environmental science major, but I hope to go more into like environmental policy and the social science part of it. Um, but coming here and actually learning the problems that are currently affecting the lake in terms of like the harmful algal blooms, uh, turbidity, warming waters. Learning all of that here on a science level I think gives me a much better understanding of how to actually properly implement it in the future hopefully or protect it moving forward.